dishwasher, pretty explanatory. I've got directions on the dishwasher. Tells how to, how to basic operation. And this is a basic also operation. Um, as far as cleaning, this is pretty much how to clean it. But I'm gonna go step by step on how to do this. So first thing in when you come in, it takes a little while for this to water to get in there and heat up. But first thing you do is turn on that. It will automatically start filling. Now I'm not gonna let it get hot and I'm not gonna let it get a lot of water in it. But it takes about 15 minutes to fill it up. Um, at some point, you're gonna look at this and the water temperature is supposed to be about a, I think 160 degrees or thereabouts. Don't worry about the rinse. The rinse will get up to about 800 degrees when it actually rinses it. Dishwasher has an automatic soap and rinse so you don't have to do anything. I've got actually a five gallon soap over there. I've got a five gallon rinse plus the other three gallons I'm still working off of. The dishwasher does about 20,000 washes on a five gallon bucket. It does about uh, 50 washes on a five gallon rinse. When it gets ready, this light will come on. When it gets up to the 165 degree temperature. Take the rack. It's already got soap that it already fed into it and it's already got uh, sanitizer that it sanitizes it with. It's got a, a rack there. Okay, you put your rack of dishes in. Close the door, you hit start. That light will come on. So it's gonna go through a three minute wash. I wanna say it does 60 second rinse. But when it does the rinse, you'll watch the rinse gauge, it'll, it'll start, temperatures will start climbing. So right now it's in the wash mode. It's showing that it's washing. When it goes into the rinse mode, this light will also stay on. And then when it's all done with the wash and the rinse, this light will go off. That will tell you, you can open up the door and pull it out. When you're running the dishwasher, this door must stay closed at all times. There is a sensor behind this door. If that steam hits that sensor, the fire department's gonna come here. It's gonna set every alarm off in the church. Okay, see how the light went off? That means you're, you're done. That's the operation of running the dishwasher. Now we are going to drain it. First thing you do is turn the power button off. Then you start playing with this baby. This is a drain. Now I'm going to have to get a pair of rubber gloves on in here in a minute. You can hear it draining. It's when you're draining the dishwasher, uh, if you're gonna have to stick this hand into water that's gonna be 160 degrees or more, put three pairs of rubber gloves on. First thing we're gonna do to drain this. I go in here, my, can you see the, I think so. the little thumb nut, nut on top of the spindle? Okay. Okay. Yep. You got it? Yep. You take this and you unscrew this little spring nut. Now this will not come out of the spindle. It's locked in place. And then you pull this out. That's number one. Number two, there's a plug here. You pull this out. Okay, then you go back in here again. And you start draining.
takes a while for this to drain. Then you pull out this screen, this screen. There's a little, another screen in here, a little uh, rubber nut that's on top. You unscrew the rubber nut. You pull out this filter. All these filters in the spindle have to be sprayed off. The, the screens are food catchers for any food that manages to get past the two top filters. That's why you got a bottom filter, you have to spray it off. Once we get the, uh, the hose hooked up, you'll turn the hose on and you spray the inside of the machine and you can spray all your screens off from this position. Now, it won't drain completely. It only drains the tank up above. And, you know, you can sit here for 20 minutes and it'll make that noise. <laughs> then what it does, it's got a regular tank down here that does not drain. It does, but it changes water. So what happens is when you turn the machine on, it fills up that tank and it fills up this tank. And that way when it needs more water in here, it shoots water from that tank into the machine and then the water line over here fills that back up to capacity. So the water is constantly changing. So then after you've sprayed everything off, you put that back down over its little hole. You put this back on and you screw it down the top. You can't screw it anymore. It'll stop screwing. Once it stops screwing, you'll know it's tight enough. Okay, then this one here goes on the left side. It sits down in here. This one goes on the right side because this is where your plug goes down through. So this one sits there, then the plug goes down and sits into the drain. Then you put this back in. It sits on top there, and then you screw the thumb screw tight. Not over tight, just tight enough. Okay, then your machine is done. And the reason I do three on this hand is because when you grab that plug to pull it out, if that water is 183 degrees, that stainless steel plugs, plugs about 200 degrees. And then you're all done. Uh, as far as doing your dishes, we have two of these filled with soapy water. Hot soapy water. Once a once a rinse for your silverware, once a rinse for your dishes. And when they get the dishes, they will stack the dishes in here. Then they will bring this over here. Bring it over here. They'll turn this on. They'll spray all the dishes off. Get everything so it's gone off the dishes before it goes in the dish machine. Then when this thing starts filling up, this has a garbage disposal down the lot. And you can uh, pretty much spray everything down, turn the garbage disposal on. When it all goes down the drain, you're done. Make sure when the garbage disposal is on that there's liquid in here and you're following it down with more hot water. And that's back.